Welcome to the training video on how to log into the library databases for the Bellingham Public Library. You will need an Active Library card with barcode and PIN. The PIN is the last four digits of the phone number we have on file. Sometimes people change that. So if you have any questions, contact us and we can help you get that PIN up and running. If you don't have a card, don't worry. You can apply for a temporary card online by going to using the library and then library cards. I'll show you how to get there in a few slides. This is what the library card might look like. The top card is the Bellingham Public Library, and the bottom card is for the Whatcom County Library System. We are two separate systems. We are highly collaborative, so if you have either of these, you will be able to access our databases. Sometimes you will need to distinguish when you log into library services between the two. Um, so just to clarify, on the barcode, if your card starts with 236, that is a Bellingham Public Library card. So you would select Bellingham Public Library. You do need the barcode to match up if it's asking you which library system you're logging in with. If it doesn't ask and it's just a generic login with barcode and PIN, you don't need to distinguish whether it's Bellingham or Whatcom. And for those of you who have Whatcom County Library System cards, your card starts with 232. You log in by going to the bellinghampubliclibrary.org website. Uh, that is our homepage for the Bellingham Public Library. And I'll show you what this looks like live. So here on the Bellingham Public Library homepage, uh, I had mentioned that you can get to a temporary online account application by going and clicking on using the library and then library cards. If you scroll down, you can see that this link right down here leads you to the temporary library card online application. If you already have a card, you will click on using the library and then come down to research and learn. And this brings you to our curated web pages. They are in alphabetical order and read from left to right. So if you scroll down a little bit, for those of you who are looking for small business resources, the page or the tile that you're really interested in is this business and finance page. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And there are information portals that are available to you at the state and local levels. And then in addition, what we've done is curated the databases, their specific interest to business and finance under free to Bellingham Public Library cardholders. There will be separate videos that walk you through how best to search these databases. The Gale products will be one video, Reference Solutions will be a second video, and Value Line will be yet a third video. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the first one so that you can see what that portal looks like. So this is where you would enter the library card number here with no spaces or dashes, and then below that you would enter the PIN and then click on log in. So just to recap, you go to our website, bellinghampubliclibrary.org, click on using the library, that drops down a drop box, and then you click on research and learn, and then you click on business and finance once you get into those research and learn pages. If you have questions, here are the ways that you can connect with us so that we can get those answered for you.